Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the TCS Ninja on campus interview experience that happened through NQT. This interview experience happened today only, that is on 11th July 2022. So, guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end and do not skip any part of this video. Guys, previously also on my channel, I have uploaded many TCS Ninja interview experiences. You can see here, there are around 22 videos under this playlist. All of those includes TCS Ninja interview experiences. So guys, make sure that if you are preparing for this interview, do make sure to visit this playlist. And guys, if you have not subscribed to channel till now, please subscribe it. And if you have subscribed, please make sure that you share this video among your friends also and ask them to subscribe also because subscribers are very important and they motivate me to make more such videos. So guys, let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so, so guys, the date of the interview was 11th of July, that is today only. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. Okay, so the first question that was asked was introduce yourself. And guys, till now you must have given many interviews, that is Infosys also you have given, different, different companies also you have given. So you know that this is the most important question of the interview. And the answer that you give in the interview decides that where your interview will, interview will further lead. So make sure that you prepare this question very well. You can include your extracurricular activities, your uh, technical skills, your projects, your internship, any other thing, achievement that you have done. So all these things you can include uh, in this particular question, but do not lie anything in this particular question. So I hope this question will be, uh, the answer is helpful to you. Okay. Next question was, what is your favorite language? So my friend said Java. Next question was, what is public static void mean in Java? So again, you must know that whenever we write a code in Java, the first method that we define is public static void main. So now what is the meaning of public? So public means that this method can be accessed from anywhere. Okay. So public means this method can be accessed from anywhere. Next is static. Now static means that to call this method, we do not require any object. Okay. So static here means to call this method, we do not require any object. Next is void. Void means that this function do not return anything. That is return type is null. It does not return anything. Next is main. So whenever the program is compiled, so uh, the compiler look, uh, looks for the main function. That is, it is from where the main execution of the program starts from the main function. Okay. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was share your screen and write the program for swapping two variables without using the third variable. So as again, this question is very commonly asked in TCS that is to uh, swap two variables without using the third variable. So for your reference, I have already written the code here x is 5, y is 5, y is 10 and after the swapping has occurred that is without using the third variable after this our x will be 10 and y will be 5. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. You can simply take the screenshot for the same. Next question is program to print number in reverse. So again, it is very commonly asked question in the service service, uh, service based companies and it is a very easy question that you can answer in the interview. Okay. So uh, your answer, uh, the number that you have to reverse is 123. So you are, so the output should be 321. So here is the entire logic for reversing the number that is your input number is 123 and your output number will be 321. So here is the entire logic for reversing a particular number and printing it. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Moving to the next question. Next question is program to check string is palindrome or not. So guys, this particular interview was purely technical. Majorly coding questions were only asked and basic coding questions. They're like palindrome, you can see reverse of a number, you can see swap two numbers, you can see. So these are the basic questions that were asked in this interview. So make sure to prepare for these questions. Now, program to check whether string is palindrome or not. So here is the entire logic. If it is a palindrome, then it will return true. Otherwise, if it is not a palindrome, then it will return false. So again, depend. Uh, you can take this screenshot for the same and see for the logic that what does it denotes. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was, what is the difference between linear search and binary search? Because first of all, the major difference between linear search and binary search is that, see, in linear search, we traverse the entire array. That is, our complexity will become big O of ON. Okay. In binary search, what we do? Binary search is only performed on the sorted array. So here the time complexity is big O of log n. So I hope this is clear to you. The time complexity in linear search is big O of n and the worst case time complexity in binary search is big O of log n. Okay. Now next thing is that in linear search, we are simply iterating over the array using for loop. 
but in binary search we use divide and conquer technique so if you know the binary search then only you will be able to understand this term that is what is divide and conquer technique so we just at every step in binary search we just eliminate the rest of the half and then we move towards the result so these are the two major difference between linear search and binary search so i hope now this difference are clear to you the last question of this interview was what do you know about tcs so guys again you must know the uh, latest news about the company in which you are giving the interview it might be infosys it might be wipro but you must have the knowledge of it okay so these are all the questions which are asked from the, this candidate in the interview this interview majorly included the basic coding questions and commonly asked coding questions like palindrome reversal of a number swap two numbers without using the third so all these type of questions you must prepare and plus you must know all the searching techniques that is linear search and binary search plus all the sorting techniques that is uh, bubble sort is there insertion sort is there selection sort is there merge sort is there and quick sort is there so all these things you must remember so guys this was all for this video if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button and please make sure that you you share this video among your friends also and they also subscribe this channel because subscribers are very important for motivating me okay so guys thank you for watching this video and do like it